His public appearances always draw crowds, like here in Courbevoie, a suburb of Paris. Philosopher, writer, and farmer, Pierre Rabhi is also a pioneer of agroecology. A new French documentary about him, Au nom de la terre, translates as In the Name of the Earth. Today we glorify richness, looting, all this. While what we really need to do is recognize the limits of planet Earth and create new values consistent with the reality of today's Earth. His approach, awaken people's consciousness in order to attract them to agroecology, a farming alternative. We have an association in France which is called Terre et Humanisme, which does work on almost all continents. It supports an agriculture which produces, cares, regenerates, augments, unlike the agriculture which destroys, pollutes and degrades. Born near the Sahara in Algeria, Rabi left during the revolution. It was many years before he returned. In 1981, he came to share his knowledge with farmers in Burkina Faso. The Garam Garam Agroecology Center was created to train them. It drew the attention of Thomas Sankara. This training center clearly allowed us to teach ecological farming to peasants from all the provinces. It was such a success that Sankara called on me to tell me that the method was very good. It freed farmers from using products because that's very expensive. It takes almost three tons of oil to make a ton of fertilizer that allows them to regenerate their soil. Farmers said that they were very happy with our approach, and so I was brought in to create reforms. Unfortunately, Thomas Sankara tragically left us right after. But Rabi continues his work. The challenge is a big one. Grow crops ecologically in semi-arid northern Burkina Faso. I'm proud to be a peasant, because peasants are who nourish earth and humans. Although Garam Garam Training Center no longer exists, agroecology remains widespread in the country. But Burkina Faso is not the only place. The Maghreb, Sub-Saharan Africa, North America, Europe and Romania have all been seduced by the Pierre Rabhi method. He is now an internationally recognized food security expert. At 75 years old, he continues to do his part. Pierre Rabhi dreams of popularizing non-polluting agriculture, free of genetically modified crops, which he likens to, quote-unquote, crimes against humanity.